and welcome back to yet another exciting week of the Lazy Money Game. In this week's episode, I'm going to give you a short update to my portfolio, and then we are going to talk about elections and how they may or may not affect your investing strategy. So let's immediately start with a quick portfolio update. Well, the first thing we notice is that there was a green circle for this week's episode. If we then go to the portfolio values tab here, we can see that I'm actually hitting a new all-time high record in the portfolio since for the first time ever, I'm surpassing the $220,000 mark and I'm actually at 221,000. And at the same time, you can see that the cost base has not changed, meaning that I have not done any investments within this week. If we then continue to my favorites tab, namely the dividends tab, then we can see that October has just pushed me above the $300 mark. This is of course significantly lower than what I received in July. And this is due to the fact that I have sold out of store capital. That is what is actually missing here. And October would actually have been a little higher than July since VG has increased their dividend with 8% back in September. But since store capital is no longer in the portfolio, that is why we will have to be satisfied with just a little more than $300 this month. And speaking of dividend increases, I'm happy to see that Appway has announced that they are raising their dividend by 5%. So now they'd be paying $1.48 per share instead of $1.41 per share. And with the current share price, it gives them a forward yield of 3.86%. But let's take a look at my portfolio and see what the yield actually is for the shares which I own. So if we go back to the overview arc here and scroll all the way to the top, there you can see I have Appway. And as you can see, I have purchased them below $105 and currently they are trading at around $147. Meaning I have this short term gain of around 40% since that is how much the shares are up. But if we scroll all the way to the side here, you can see that my dividend yield is actually above 5.5%. So needless to say, I'm pretty pleased with this investment so far. So that was just a quick update to my portfolio. If we then continue to the next topic, namely elections. And why do I want to talk about elections? Well, needless to say, I'm a Dane and we have an election for the Danish parliament coming up on Tuesday. So I think it is highly relevant to take a look at that and see if that may or may not affect your investment strategy. So the first question is actually pretty straightforward to answer. Since my strategy will not be affected depending on who is being elected into the parliament of these 14 parties. Since I will continue to do what I have done since the beginning of this channel, but the performance and how much I will be taxed will severely depend on who has the power to change the regulation. Since there are a lot of different opinions about how share income or capital income in general should be taxed depending on who will have the power to choose. Just to give you an idea about how different the parties are looking into the taxation, I will of course include a link in the description below for this article on Nordnet, which was made public on Friday. So if we start with the conservatives, they want to lower the tax from 27 to 26%, but only if you are under the threshold value of 57.2 thousand. So for the first 57.2 thousand that you're making every year, they suggest that you are paying 1% less. Then you have Moderaterne. They are currently suggesting that the rules we have where we are paying 27% and 42% respectively, they want to change those to 10% and 30%. And if that is not possible, then they want to increase the amount that you are allowed to pay into your access bar conto. And then you have New Borley and Liberal Alliance who wants a flat tax rate on either 25 or 27%. So they won't have this progression limit or this threshold limit of 57,000. They want to remove that entirely and just have one simple rate of either 25 or 27%. New Borley is suggesting 25, Liberal Alliance is suggesting 27%. So this was four concrete suggestions from four different parties. Then we are still left with 10 parties. And I mean, they are not so concrete. They just basically want to simplify the system that we currently have. And I mean, I'm happy to see that finally, it seems like even the politicians understand that 
the way that we are taxing investments in Denmark are perhaps a bit too complicated. But I mean, if you can't even come up with a concrete suggestion when we are trying to figure out who we want to rule the country, that doesn't sound too promising for me. Of course, I understand that this is just a small thing in the overall picture of who you want to have to rule the country. And no matter who you're going to vote for at the upcoming election, I highly encourage you to go and vote, since I strongly believe that is how we will get the best government afterwards. And I mean, even though we are disagreeing on what we would like, or if you can't find any party that have all the ideas or want to improve everything which you see fit, well then just choose the ones that you are disagreeing the least with. So even though we only have four concrete suggestions about how to change the taxation regarding investments, you can see that it will severely affect how much money I will be capable of putting into my own pocket and how much I would have to pay in tax. And I mean, if we're not even mentioning the 10 last parties and what they will come up with in the simplification process, I mean, it is very hard to see where this will land. So now that I have mentioned the different parties and the different suggestions that they have come up with and hopefully illustrated fairly clearly how hard it is to actually predict, then I think it really highlights my first point of saying, don't try and adjust your strategy according to something which you have absolutely no control over and where the outcome of what you can actually put into your pocket severely depend on it. So that is why it was fairly easy for me to say I should just continue to do what I have always done, try to find great businesses at attractive prices and invest in them. And then how much I will be able to put into my pocket? Well, that depends on who will win and what they will actually enforce. Speaking about power and politics, I would highly recommend that you go and take a look at Anders Puk Nielsen's YouTube channel. He's a military analyst and he does a great job in educating us civilians about the different tactics and about what is going on in Ukraine. And I mean, when we have an upcoming election here in Denmark on Tuesday, I think the least we can do is to go and vote, especially when you think about how many people are actually currently sacrificing their life in Ukraine to be a free country where they want to have democracy. So that actually sums it up for yet another exciting week of the Lazy Money Game. So if you have made it all the way to the end of the video and you have enjoyed the content, then please consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel a lot. And until I see you next time, bye.